Hello friends, welcome to Share Knowledge. Today I will show you how to release and unrelease TR. Yes, you can you easily uh, release TR, but how do you revert? Means how to unrelease TR? How to status change from R to D in transport request in SAP system? Okay, so let's start. First, I will show you some demo like uh, PFCG. Then here we have a revol. Okay just click here we will make one tr uh, we create new tr here we give a name basis that's the first component name so it can easily identify test tr okay now enter uh, just copy this tr number okay now we just open this tr in sc01 here entered here we can show tr number main tr sub tr and we have added one role okay we add another one role so you can easily identify it now we have already second role ready so now we added another role in this tr same same tr okay you can check whenever uh, unreleased tr automatically fetch when you added some in the tr okay now we add third in this system okay first i will refresh this tr property so you can easily identify now we have a two role in same tr okay now we release this tr main tier and the one in second one tier okay now both tier release main tier and sub tier now you just add third row in this tier same tier first of all it will not fetch name automatically right when if you remember when we add second tr at that time the tr number automatically fetched but then third tr it's not fetched why because whenever sap uh, check this pop-up at that time its data come from sap table which already collection of trs so now we just uh, manually add tr number so it will give an error hmm. now just you just here look this is the error okay now i will show you in which table all tr stored and how to revert back or how to change status from release to modify okay first of all for a table sc16 okay here the table num name is e070 here first of all we just change the uh, name of the label so you can easily identify it here click on user parameter we select field label so common user easily find what is the field name okay this is a request task here we add request number okay just click when you click it will fetch the data like this tr number type of uh, tr status cost, uh, owner name date or time right okay now the look this column this is the r status here you can click and check r means released means now tr is already released so we cannot add anything in this tr now our target is how to revert back and how to change status from r to d okay so for this sap given already one ready program just go to sa38 whenever you require any program execution you just uh, enter t code ss38 or sc38 now execute here we add our tr number and execute when you execute this program this program fetch data from e070 table which given number okay now what we do just click double click on number here you can check status now click on edit option now just set status d and also you can change another information like short description owner name target system target client source client everything okay now enter and save same for main tr also 
same okay same now tr status changed now we just first check on table like look this is the r status we just refresh it's changed from r to d now also you just check here right now we have a two rows only okay just go and back now have you seen the tr right indicator already gone and its status is unreleased here too now we just add role which is already given error okay same tr click on it's added now you just check okay now you can add three rows so this is a very simple program and it's the not any inconsistency it's not suggestible but it is a very proper program and also i will show you how to this all things change from os level okay so os level here our tr is not released right look now just copy this tr number okay go here this is a query first query i will show you just select what is this this is the field actually name not label name in when table if you select field name from property then it will show look like this and if you select label then it will here write tr kor means tr number and this is a tr status just copy and check the status okay click enter look this is the tr number and this is the status what is it means right now the tr status is d means modified okay now we put this number also here in update query now we'll fire update query and change the status okay now if you change here you just check d r l anything you want okay now copy okay enter message given one row affected now just check the status look the front d now it's r means it's already released now just go and back here you can also check look we entered this tr so same also follow we can also from this also if go to sa38 program execution here just click here we want to change this also just edit and set it r now just go back both p are released now okay so this is the very simple method and then you can easily change status of tr but this is one thing this is not suggestible way this is a one shortcut so if in case emergency if you require some changes to add in existing tr then you can follow this step also one thing if sometimes after release and unreleased tr then again you release it from se01 maybe it given error like a exit time stamp okay so at that time what you do just double click select property here first or last entry may be look like exit time stamp exit time stamp okay so select line and here just go to edit mode select the line and delete it and then you release tr it's easily completely released it here okay i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you